Hello, I'm Lauren Meyer with Raise High TV here with our Colonial of the Week, Angela Rick of GW Cross Country. So Angela, you finished first in the Catholic Invitational last weekend here in DC, leading GW to a second place overall finish. How do you pace yourself throughout the 6,000 meter course? So pacing over 6K is something I'm still getting used to. Uh, this was only my third 6,000 meter race ever. Um, but Coach Weir is really great in practice about um, having us not rely on our watches, so not rely too much on time and just really getting an in internal sense of the pace. And so I'm definitely improving. Um, I still have some work I can do in that area, but the 6K is a new, newer distance to me, but I like it. What comes through your head during the last push of the race? So at the end of the race, it's kind of an interesting combination of there's a million thoughts going through your head and then there's also just this blank white sheet of nothingness. And so I would say one thing that I usually try and think of is just to count my steps. It seems really simple, but it's just a nice thing that you can concentrate on to kind of take your mind off the pain. So just, you know, count to 10 steps and just think you know, I'm that much further. Um, and so at the end of the race, I was just um, also thinking, wow, I should really, you know, try and hold this lead and it'd be great to finish first. I haven't done that in a cross country race in a long time, so it'd be, it'd be fun. So you received your undergraduate degree from Notre Dame. What made you decide to pursue cross country as a graduate student here at GW? So I felt like I had some unfinished business with cross country. Um, I really only raced my junior and senior years at Notre Dame. And each year I was really improving and I, I was liking it more too. Distance running was something that used to scare me a little bit, especially the long runs. Um, and so I really just wanted to keep it going while I was kind of on a roll and just see where I could go with it. And so I was really excited um, that I had the opportunity to keep racing here. And you know, it's a new program for me and different coach, but I was just excited to see how it goes and give it a shot. GW is adding track as a varsity sport in the 2014-15 season. Coming from a school that had year-round distance running, how do you think adding this sport will affect GW's athletic program? Well, I think having track is going to be huge for GW. The, I mean, first of all, for recruitment, you can recruit athletes that really are strong in the mid-distances and the distance. Um, I know when I was in high school, that would be something that I was definitely looking for. Um, and then also for the girls that are already here, and guys of course, um, on the team, just it's going to make them that much stronger, just having uh, something to train for all year long. And um, one thing I really found was that when I improved as a distance runner, I improved as a mid-distance runner as well. And I think, you know, running shorter races in the spring is also going to help the team in the fall as well. So I think it's just a great thing for the program. So finally, besides distance running, what are your other hobbies or passions? Well, I started playing the violin when I was three years old, so I've been playing for 18 years now. And I played in the symphony orchestra for four years at Notre Dame, and I actually just joined the orchestra here at GW as well. Um, so I'm very excited to see how that will go. And it's just another thing that's um, a real passion of mine. So, you know, I love to run and it's great being on the team, but then I also like having that other dimension, another area to have um, friends and meet new people here. So. Well, that's a wrap with this week's Colonial of the Week, Angela Rick. I'm Lauren Meyer with Raise High TV. We'll see you next time.